with, with the guys, learn from the guys, with God. I mean, it's just a big win for us, big win for the program, big win for Oba. You know, the O-line's so great to go for after the next one. Right, so what's the last? When did you find yeah. that um, You know, that was kind of a conversation um, Coach and I had um, earlier this kind of earlier this week a little bit. I mean, I, I really don't want to talk on it too much because that's, you know, all their stuff like that. But um, I'm just blessed to be able to go out there and play with my brothers as hard as I can. Right, what's the last, what's the last 10 months been like? For you, obviously, last year being a starter full time and then losing a the job and having to kind of be patient and develop in the background and just kind of wait for your moment. You know, it's it's been a lot of learning. Um, you know, obviously, it's not um, what you think coming off of last year, um, but you know, deep conversations with myself with God. Um, you know, asking why. You know, some things happen, and then figuring out. You know, some some things like this to be the best things. I mean, learning from Seth, he's an amazing player. Um, he's an amazing guy. Uh, learning how to play the position um, and then you know we, we talk about competitive excellence playing your name when you're almost called so being ready for that you know the last 10 months have prepared me immensely for that um, so I'm just glad to you know help with the team as anyway Chris, so what do you say about the transition coach Fly, the, the, you found out you're going to start what, who, who, you said a coach you had a conversation with coach you mean coach Fry? Um, earlier in the week, he pointed to, pointed to it, but it wasn't uh, confirmation or nothing like yeah. that. It was like, we're going we're gonna to feel it out, we're going to see how we do. So, so when you get out there, is it like getting on a bike again? What's it like uh, being, playing full game again? Um, I, mean, I, I guess a little bit, but I, I would say our, our practices are went far harder than games are, and I think that prepares us really well. I think Coach Jay does an amazing job of making our practices really challenging. So when we go out there, it's just time to you know, let loose and perform. What can you, you say about the transition that Donovan had to make to left tackle? And how hard of a transition can that be on the offensive line? How do you think he did today? Donnie? Donovan. Yeah, Donnie. Donnie did spectacular. Donnie's a freak major. Um, he, that guy is an absolute, you know, like, if you want to, if, if I could be anyone else, it'd be Donovan. <laughs> like, like um, the way he moves, the way he plays, the kind of guy he is, um, on all fronts, uh, he works hard. Um, he does the right things, and I think today he really showed it on the field that, even though obviously it's a you know it's a big transition to go from a phone booth to an island, uh, I think he did a really great job. And you were playing next to him again, like you were last year. Did that help at all to slide right back into the offensive line? Yeah, it was fun. Um, I know you know me and Don are always together, um, so it's good you know I have that chemistry on the whole line. Um, it's just fun to be next to him. Uh, I guess anywhere, but you know, uh, in Penn State, in uh, you know, Happy Valley, it was pretty fun. Playing guard instead of center. Playing guard instead of center. You've been exclusively a center. Games. How much have you practiced the guards? You're quite a bit, I'm assuming. You haven't played in the game, right? Uh, I mean, I, I've mostly been ready to play center. Um, so I've, I'm, I'm mostly, I guess, been doing that. But like I said, I'm ready to um, play wherever I am, uh, you know, whenever it's called. After the defense got that second, fourth, and goal stop, mm -hmm. how important was it to get some rhythm in that first carry for Will at, at the one yard line? Um, we knew, you know, short, yard, short yards are our yards um, on the whole line. Um, and, you know, I, I think that mentality going out there. Um, that you know we practice that you know rigorously of uh, getting those you know crucial yards coming out. Um, I think that all of our preparation prepares for that, and I think we knew exactly what we we're going to do uh, going out there. And we you know we we performed performed well, and it was a really you know it's a great feeling. How satisfying is it to, to run the clock out? Like the last five minutes, eleven plays, three first down. Super satisfying. I mean, obviously we, there's some stuff we need to clean up, um, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to enjoy the win. Um, and I think the way our O-line performed, and I think um, what's ahead of us is super special. So I'm, I'm just excited for the, what, we, you know, what we did and what we have coming up. Carson, I feel like you personally had something extra to prove today because it was your first start of the year. Um, I mean, a little bit. You know, I, I, I don't want to get too much into it, but, you know, God gave me the opportunity to go out there and play. And um, I did exactly or all that I could uh, for the O-line, and I, you know, I'm – Happy to get my help wherever they need me. Carson, how much That's of that those those two uh, first down runs by Will? How much of that was was needed, and how much of that was like destiny after the way he started? I think Will is an amazing leader. Yeah. I think how tough he is. Um, I think you know, some people can maybe like not see that, um, but I think on the field with him, I think he you know handled it with poise. I think he got us ready, and I think he's like you know what, guys, we're gonna go and we're gonna win this game. And, you know, for him, obviously, it's a big win. For the program, it's a big win. And I just think Will is going to – and our program is just going to skyrocket. When did after he say that? Like after the, the fumble, the, the one, we're going to go ahead and win that game? I mean, I don't know exactly okay. when he said it. It was just more like an ideal mindset, I guess.